instantly suffered the worst insult ever. At Grand Central Terminal, our tour guide is explaining that during the Cold War, the U.S. Army had set up a rocket for publicity. The rocket had punched a hole in the terminal's ceiling. The chief rocket scientist had miscalculated the height of the building. After the tour, I check the tour guide's facts. The rocket didn't come near the ceiling. The uh, army had cut the hole to anchor a cable that stabilized the rocket. Rocket Man becomes the eighth tour guide that I have discredited. I love feeling superior to other tour guides. 30 days after my triumph, I'm leading a tour for my sister, her husband, and my girlfriend Carla, tour of Fifth Avenue. I, to, so that they fully appreciate the tour, I tell them about all the mistakes inferior guides have made. I dazzle them with fact after fact after fact. In St. Patrick's Cathedral, I point out the hats of the cardinals that hang above their crypts. We are approaching the upper limits of fun. <laughs> we view the statue of Mary holding the body of Jesus. I tell them, this Pieta is three times the size of Michelangelo's Pieta at St. Peter's Basilica. Carla says, tells me, I think the Pietas are about the same size. I tell Carla, I think I've been giving this tour of St. Patrick's for 20 years. <clears throat> I send, after the tour, I send Carla proof from Wikipedia. <laughs> I call the Michelangelo the petite Pieta. <laughs> Carla is a professor of art history. <laughs> she sends me photos of both Pietas and each are flanked by a man for scale. The Pietas appear to be the same size. I tell Carla, the man next to the St. Patrick's Pieta <laughs> is a giant. <laughs> and the man next to the Michelangelo Pieta is Justin Bieber. <laughs> Carla sends me a photo of a crowd around the Michelangelo Pieta. I tell Carla that that Pieta is a bloated replica and that the real Michelangelo is in the Pope's secret bread box. <laughs> Carla asks, when did you start denying reality? When did you stop respecting facts? When did you become a Republican? <laughs> it was the worst insult I have suffered 